Hello, I had a request yesterday uh, to show the floor plan that we're working on for our RV to tiny house project. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Vardo. Here's the Dutch door that we made. And keep in mind we're under construction, we're not currently living in it. So kind of messy, but I just want to give everyone an idea of what we're going for. So this is the front. That right there is the back of the driver's seat. And this is the curtain, which is actually just a sheet that pardons off the cockpit area. And we're using it for storage for a closet. You can see we have some hanging clothes out here already and some totes to organize things. It's not super organized right now because a lot of the totes went in the main house when we started working on the project. So we took all the walls down, took all the insulation out, put up new insulation and we don't have the paneling back up in this area. And then this is one bed slash couch. So during the nighttime, it's a bed. And then when I have pillows and everything, it goes against the wall and this becomes a couch. And we have what will be our book storage underneath there so we can get to it. And then this right over here is the other bed couch that's finished at the moment with a little bench on the end seating area. It has storage underneath also. Right now it's all full of tools. It's where we put the air conditioner in. Took out a window and put in the air conditioner because it's southern Arizona. And we need an air conditioner. We're actually kind of stuck at construction because once it gets to be about 7 in the morning, which is now, it starts to get hot. So we can only work on a little bit at a time. So this is the storage area. The generator box is under there. And then this will be storage, but right now it's just tools and whatnot. That is my husband's computer desk. I use this rolling desk right here to put my computer on. And then I can move it out of the way, put it back. And that's my husband's desk right there. So back here is the kitchen area. This platform that's all full of tools right now is going to be where the fridge and a pantry area will be. So there'll be shelves, there'll be a fridge right here, and then over here there'll be shelves up to the ceiling for food storage. And then this back wall, this is the pegboard wall that I was talking about, complete with my found deer antlers to hang towels and aprons and stuff and I have a couple it's kind of dark I'm sorry the windows are treated back here so it actually stays cooler back here but I have a couple of my cast iron pans that I don't use as often hanging so you can kind of see what the end result will be all the pegs will have hooks or will have nails in the support boards here to hold the heavier stuff and then the lighter stuff will have hooks in the actual pegboard. And then from the bottom of the pegboard, this area starting kind of where the, we have this table all the way across the back will be the kitchen counter. Sink right under the window and then we're gonna have just a couple of burners because it there was no baking that's going to happen in here but a couple of burners and um, I like to use an electric skillet and a crock pot a lot to cook in the RV really works well and um, then this will just be storage area but under the counter when we get it built will be storage area for our kitchen tools 
blender, mixer, all that kind of stuff, pots, pans, bowls, all that kind of stuff will be under there. So the entire back out about two feet from the window will be kitchen counter. And then when I bring my plants back in, they'll hang by these two windows. So this is the one section of paneling that we have finished and have the little trim around just so we can kind of see what we're going for. So that right there is what the walls will eventually look like. So as you can see, it's very, very much unfinished. We completely ripped it apart. This was the main bedroom. This was the bathroom. This was the kitchen. And this was a couch. And this was the like dinette area right here. So we ripped everything out down to the bare walls and we scraped out the insulation because this is a 79 Allegro. So the insulation was pretty funky. Redid it. We put in a skylight where the swamp cooler was to let some light in. And we've completely redone everything. And when it was cooler, my husband and I were staying out here um, on the couch beds as soon as we got them finished. But it's just too hot to stay out here now until we get the wiring finished. You can see we have the boxes in place certain places like over here where the wood's done the wiring's finished in the back part we just have to finish it up here in the front and wire it in to the electric and then we can continue on with walls hopefully by the fall we're going to have it back to where we're living in it full time again so i hope that this kind of helped you see what we're talking about with the Vardo project and I'll post more updates as we get things done and keep everybody posted. So thanks for watching. I hope that it cleared up what I'm talking about when I talk about the Vardo. Bye.